My school year actually didn't get crazy until I was in 10th grade, a sophomore. My dad and my stepmom, who I was living with, decided to move to Spokane, Washington. From there, I did something I shouldn't have. I was thrown out of high school and my parents flew me out to Virginia, where I stayed with my aunt and uncle for the remainder of the year, where I was homeschooled. We found Entrada High School, which is where I'm at now, in 11th grade, and I am doing very well. I'm successful. I'm, I'm well on my way to graduating. I'm ahead in my classes. Some of the roadblocks I face is just moving away from everything that I've known and loved for all my life. And it's very difficult to cope with that. But I had some other private things going on that have been struggles. So I am very focused in my classes. I am getting help as I need. I am working problems on my own so that I make sure I can get it and I'm focused. Well, that reminds me of the five Buddha minds. Um, they're a philosophy that I learn in martial arts that helped me live the most successful life. The, the Budo mind that comes primarily to my mind at this moment with focus is Zanshin. Zanshin is focus. That's what, it's a mindset. That's what I do to focus is I, in my mind, when I find myself wandering off, I say, hey, Zanshin, I need to focus and snap back to it. I think I get the motivation from my father. He's literally crawled down to the mud and reached out with his hands, grasped my wrist and pulled me up. He's been through my ups and my downs. But I'd also have to say my religion, I'm LDS, and being having that close relationship with my form of God has helped me and also my ninth grade math teacher. He's influenced me to receive that focus and he's shaped me into what I am. Some of the weaknesses I've had to overcome starts with empathy. I fail to think myself equal with other people. I tend to put myself on this higher ledge. And it's unhealthy because I'm as much in the mud and in the dirt as the rest of us. I've learned skills that are strengths in my weaknesses. Things I'm looking forward to after graduation is probably knowing for a fact what I want to do for a career. You know, I've considered genetic engineering, business. I, I wanted to start my own business. I've also considered law enforcement and military. What will help me right now is getting all the high school credits that I need to graduate which I am, I'm doing just that. So in a sense, my path looks very bright and I'm, I'm ready to go. I see a lot of success later in life. Now I'm, I'm at a low, but I know that will pass and I will be the, a better man than I am today. And that excites me and I'm ready to see that and to move forward into that.